Hi, and uh, today we are going to discuss the closed system work transfer for various processes. So this is regarding closed system work transfer for various process. So before directly putting hand to the process, we are going to see that when this expression can be used so w is equal to integration of p dv and when can we make the use of this expression so we can make the use of this expression when the system is closed and third second one is there should be a reversible process so process must be reversible that is frictionless process this is one of the important point that we should keep in mind that we can use w is equal to integration of PATV when the process is frictionless and the third one is the work should cross the boundary of the system and this implies that if you take an example of the motor which is driven by a battery so suppose this is our battery B and this is our motor M and here we have the shaft of this motor and this is the fan and if we establish a boundary here across the battery so this will be called as electrical work done and in another case if suppose this is our battery B this is our motor M this is the shaft and here we have the rotating fan and if we establish our boundary here then this will be called as mechanical shaft work and the third case we, here we have our battery B this is our motor M this is our shaft and here we have the rotating fan and if we establish our boundary here then here it will be called as no work done because in this case the work is not crossing the boundary of this system so even if the fan is rotating here it is called as no work done because the work done is not crossing the boundary of the system so first we are going to deal with uh, isochoric process which is also called as constant volume process or this is also called as isometric process so in the case of isochoric process we know that w is equal to integration of pdv we are going to make the, the use of this expression in every process and then we are going to make change accordingly and here we know that as the change in volume is zero so the work done in the case of isochoric process is zero and if we plot this on a pv diagram this is our PV diagram and suppose this is the initial state 1 and the process is coming from initial state 1 to final state 2 so as the area under the curve is 0 as the area under the curve or we'll call it as line is 0 so the work done in the case of isochoric process is equal to 0 and in another case we are going to take isobaric process which is also called as constant pressure process so in the case of isobaric process we know that w is equal to integration of pdv but as we are keeping our pressure constant so W will be equal to P times integration of V1 to V2 dV. So W is equal to P times V2 minus V1 because the integration of derivative of the function is the function itself and after putting the limits we will get V2 minus V1. 
So if we represent this on our PV diagram, so this is our PV, and suppose this is our initial state 1, and the corresponding volume is V1, and here we have our final state 2, and the corresponding volume is V2. So this will be the area under the curve. So the work done in the case of isobaric process is W is equal to P times V2 minus V1. In third case, we are going to deal with isothermal process, which is also called as constant temperature process. So in this case, we know that W is equal to integration of P times dV. But here we don't have any temperature term and therefore we are going to assume that our working fluid is ideal gas and we are going to make the use of ideal gas equation. So PV is equal to nRT. Let's call this expression number 1. This is expression number 2. As we are keeping the trade, the temperature constant, R is the universal gas constant. So we'll get PV is equal to C that is constant. So this will be equation number 3. And if we put the value of equation number 3 in equation number 1, we'll get W is equal to integration of P can be written as C by V times dV. I'll write this here now. So W is equal to C times integration of V1 to V2 dV by V. And now we know that integration of f of dash x over f of x can be written as ln of f of x. So this will be equal to W is equal to C times ln V2 by V1. And now we can just substitute the value of C that is P times V. So W will be equal to PV ln V2 by V1. And PV is NRT. So W is equal to NRT ln V2 by V1. And now as we know that the pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other. So W will be equal to nRT times ln P1 by P2. So this is the expression for the work done in the case of isothermal process. And if you plot this on our PV diagram, well this is PV, this is our initial state 1, this is our final state 2. And here we'll get a rectangular hyperbolic curve. So this is also called as the rectangular hyperbolic process. And now we are going to deal with adiabatic process. So in the case of adiabatic process, it is important to note that our Q will be equal to zero. So adiabatic process is the process where Q is equal to zero. That is, there should be no transfer of heat from the system to surrounding or from the surrounding to the system. So in the case of adiabatic process, we are going to make the use of this expression PV to the power gamma is equal to C, where gamma is called as adiabatic index. And this is the ratio of the specific heat capacity at constant pressure to the specific heat capacity at constant volume. So CP by CV is equal to gamma. And now we know that W is equal to integration of P dV. So we are going to put the value of P inside this expression. So W will be equal to integration of C to the power C times V to the power negative gamma times dV. So W will be equal to as C is constant. We are going to take this out of the integral sign. So C times integration of V1 to V2 V to the power negative gamma times dV. So W is equal to C times V2 to the power negative gamma plus 1 upon negative gamma plus 1 minus V1 to the power negative gamma plus 1 upon negative gamma plus 1. And now we are going to take the negative gamma plus 1 common. So C upon negative gamma plus 1 inside the bracket V2 to the power negative gamma plus 1 minus V1 to the power negative gamma plus 1. And now we are going to simplify this expression that is C over negative gamma plus 1 inside the bracket V2 to the power negative gamma times V2 minus V1 to the power negative gamma times V1. And now we are going to multiply this C inside this bracket. So W will be equal to 1 upon negative gamma plus 1 inside the bracket C times V2 to the power negative gamma times V2 minus C times 
v1 to the power negative gamma times v1 and now we know that p can be written as c times v to the power negative gamma so p2 will be equal to c times v2 to the power negative gamma so this c and this v2 to the power negative gamma can be written as p2 so w will be equal to 1 upon negative gamma plus 1 inside the bracket p2 v2 minus and p1 is equal to c times v1 to the power negative gamma so we can write this as p1 v1 and finally we get w is equal to 1 upon gamma minus 1 inside the bracket p1 v1 minus p2 v2 so this is the expression for the work done in the case of arabatic process and now we are going to move to the polytropic process it is important to note that in the case of polytropic process Q is not equal to zero because the transfer of the heat may take place from the system to surrounding and from the surrounding to system so in this case we are going to make the use of this expression PV to the power n is equal to C where n is the polytropic index and now we know that W is equal to integration of P dV and we are going to just substitute the value of P so W will be equal to integration of C times V to the power negative N dV. So W will be equal to C integration of V1 to V2 times V to the power negative N dV. And now we are going to integrate this equation. So W will be equal to C times V2 to the power negative N plus 1 upon negative N plus 1 minus v1 to the power negative n plus 1 upon negative n plus 1 and we are going to take negative n plus 1 common so w will be equal to c upon negative n plus 1 inside the bracket v2 to the power negative n plus 1 minus v1 to the power negative n plus 1 and now we are going to simplify this equation so w will be equal to c upon negative n plus 1 inside the bracket v2 to the power negative n times v2 minus v1 to the power negative n times v1 we are going to multiply the C inside this bracket, so W will be equal to 1 upon negative N plus 1 inside the bracket C V2 times negative N times V2 minus C V1 times V1 to the power negative N times V1. And now we can write this expression as W is equal to 1 upon negative N plus 1 inside the bracket P2 V2 minus P1 V1. So W will be equal to 1 upon N minus 1 inside the bracket P1 V1 minus P2 V2. So this is the expression for the work done in the case of the polytropic process. And now we are going to plot all this process representation on a PV diagram. So we are going to consider the case PV to the power K is equal to C. And now if we take our PV diagram so case 1 when k is equal to 0 <coughs> so when we put k is equal to 0 in this expression so we'll get p times v to the power 0 is 1 so p will be equal to c that is this will be isobaric process that is we are keeping the pressure constant so this is the representation on the pv diagram k is equal to 0 <clears throat> and this represents a isobaric process and now in the case 2 we are going to assume that uh, k is equal to 1 so when we put k is equal to 1 in this expression so pv will be equal to c that is this represents a isothermal process so when k is equal to 1 this will be a isothermal process so in the case of isothermal process we got the rectangular hyperbolic curve so this will be something like this for k is equal to 1 we get isothermal process this is the rectangular hyperbolic curve and in the third case we are going to assume that k is equal to gamma and when we put k is equal to gamma in this expression we get arabatic process this will represent the adiabatic process and we'll get the curve like this 
this will be k is equal to gamma and this will be adiabatic process and in the fourth case we are going to assume that k is equal to infinity and now we know that pv to the power k is equal to c and when we multiply this equation by 1 over k so p times 1 over k times v will be equal to c times 1 over k c to the power 1 over k sorry so this is p to the power 1 over k multiplied by v which is equal to c to the power 1 by k and when we put k is equal to infinity so this will be p to the power 1 by infinity multiplied by v this will be equal to c to the power 1 by infinity and we know that 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so this will be equal to p to the power 0 multiplied by v is equal to c to the power 0 and we know that any term to the power 0 is 1 so 1 times v is v is equal to 1 that is v is equal to constant so when we put k is equal to infinity then we get the constant volume process or isochoric process so this line will represent k is equal to infinity and this will be the constant volume process so this was all the information regarding the closed system work transfer for the various thermodynamic processes we'll meet in the next video with some more thermodynamic concept and thank you for watching this video